Bori Island, Senegal. This is the House of Slaves and its door of no return. The point where millions of slaves were sold and shipped to British, Dutch, French, Spanish and Portuguese colonies around the world. Centuries later, in 2007, the United Nations General Assembly agreed to establish a permanent memorial on the grounds of the United Nations in honour of the victims of slavery in the transatlantic slave trade. We got our emancipation in 1838, but here we are, and you still have people falling prey to human trafficking and to modern-day slavery. During the past two years, some 310 contestants submitted their proposals. 16 made the initial cut. Up to that stage, this was a blind competition. We knew nothing about the participants. And from that blind competition, we were able to choose seven people, and then we were informed who they were. And I tell you, there were some surprises. An architecture student, famous sculptors, and experienced architects. Before entering the judges' chamber, this is what the seven had to say. To get to this stage is really incredible for me. We put a lot of effort for this project. We hope to win. I have butterflies in my stomach, yes. This is maybe one of the most interesting days in my life. This is something which is, uh, in a lot of ways, a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity uh, to do something which is going to last for generations. It's going to impact on so many people's lives. Uh, not only uh, spiritually and emotionally, but also in an educational capacity as well. So, uh, you know, we're, you know, obviously we, we're, we're looking forward to hopefully being able to be chosen for this. I think it's going to pass very quickly when we talk about the ideas. I think it's going to I'm just very enthusiastic about the project and um, I'm excited to be here. We're effectively a bit nervous, but in the right sense of the term, because we're nervous because there are a lot of challenges behind this project and that we think and hope to have made the right project, so we would like the jury to hear what we want to do with this project, and that's where our nervousness is. Nervous, anxious and excited, the finalists weren't even sure what the judges were looking for. I have to look at an inner voice that tells me that this is what the children and the future generations would like. And I listen to that inner voice to make my selection. The whole thing is to select a monument that has aesthetical value, that has uh, appealing value, that will appeal to the viewer. I was primarily interested in identifying a piece that spoke directly to the experience of the transatlantic slave trade and the significance of that trade. The big challenge for me was to find something that spoke to both things. The tragedy itself, which requires a memorial in a more traditional sense, and something that's aspirational, something that looks towards the future and that deals with the whole question of hope, or that things are going to improve, that things will become better. It's how do you combine those those two sentiments in the single monument. It has to be the one that will really inspire thought-provoking ideas, make you step back and say, oh my God, is that really what happened? And I knew which one would be the right one. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm pleased to announce that the winning design for the permanent memorial is Mr. Rodney Leon's Ark of Return. The design will undoubtedly serve to inspire the many persons who view the memorial and remind us to never allow such crimes against humanity ever again. We must not forget that human decency, bravery and ingenuity 
led to the breaking of the shackles of slavery and burdens of bigotry. It's important now that we have come to the end. We have this wonderful uh, project, a monument by an architect, American architect, Talion, uh, which presents, I think, a very symbolic impression about uh, slavery. It's the ship that is transporting, but it is not only this. I think the fact that it's white, that it's from marble, uh, it gives also another message. It's on one side, it's a message about history, but the other side is a message about the future, a message about human dignity, a message about hope. A descendant of slaves shipped to Haiti from the coast of Africa, Rodney Leon says now the challenge begins to create the final work of art. The, the prize money is wonderful. It's going to allow us to be able to you know, get additional space and resources and be able to mobilize the way that we need to mobilize. It was very important to set a symbolic gesture, a sign here at the United Nations headquarters to commemorate the victims of transatlantic slave trade. And through that experience, be reminded uh, of the atrocities committed and at the same time to make sure that uh, events like this would not occur again. By breaking the silence, that has covered this oblique period of history and by honoring the victims, the memorial will also serve as a call to action to ensure that this tragedy is never repeated. The Ark of Return, a stark contradiction to the door of no return.